This is James Com, the guy on the bike with another half ass production. And today we're coming to you from the meat packing, packing district. We're going to see a Richard Tuttle show at Sproni West Winter titled Memory Comes from a Dark Extension. Let's take a look. So we're looking at the work of Richard Tuttle here. And in the press release, the artist statement says, this is my first exhibition using sculptural space and concrete relationships between material and illusion to explore time. Each of these works show us kind of stripped down, funky, gerrymandered sensibility. And the lady at the desk just said that each one of these are priced at $45,000. Laminated balsa wood, watercolor paper, screws. And theoretically, these objects are intended to exist independent from the normal measure of time. This is section two, New York five. And included in the show are small relief sculptures made of various materials, such as paper, plastic, wood, wire, hot glue, and found elements. And I would say that the way he's designed these, even the, the light and shadows become part of the work. Total is known for the ephemeral quality of the work and the humble materials that he uses. This looks like paper mache. Boy, if you saw that laying on the sidewalk, I don't think you'd stop and pick it up. This looks like a, a book, a book with holes in its covers being opened up. This is section four. New York 12. Yeah. 
This is a little more decorative than normal. I almost have a, an Art Deco feeling implied there. Enameled brooch. These are interesting. You've got uh, thin dowels with cotton wrapped around them in white, extending up to a dark area. They almost look like Q-tips. This piece is intriguing. The wire and the way he's pierced the little half-circles of paper. Almost like a, a collage hanging on a barbed wire fence. piece can't be more than about three and a half inches tall and maybe four inches deep. This room is called Section 3, New Mexico 13. Now this piece does show his skill as a colorist. The transparent blues on the tin foil, very eye catching. getting pretty decorative here in his the Mexican version. This is another uh, attractive piece that recalls Art Deco jewelry or maybe Art Nouveau. In a very reduced and funky way. This is called Section 1 New York 21. this front plane which is like a red eye and then he's hiding a little upside down L behind the eye beam so this is a quick run through Richard Tuttle's 